Hey everyone, Coach Tanya here. I want to show you guys this awesome shirt that Amy had bought me a while back. Let me see if you guys can see it. Can you read that? I'm a goal smashing, play pushing, shako drinking girl boss, but you can call me coach. Ha <laughs> ha! I love this tank top. It's one of my favorites. But anyway, so of course my thoughts of today are all about Hurricane Matthew and hoping that everybody is safe. Um, I feel like the storm's a little unpredictable. Hey Rosie, hopefully you have everything that you need. If you need anything or help with anything, please let me know. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that everybody is prepared, everybody has what they need. Um, I'm prepared, I have my wine, <laughs> I have my Shakeology. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I do have all of those things though. Um, I'm very happy that uh, Hubby's home, so he's, we're gonna get some stuff prepped and get some of the outside stuff inside. Um, Food-wise, we have everything we need. Um, we just need to get all of our you know, lounge chairs and stuff like that inside, just in case. Um, just, I just want to make sure you guys are all safe and prepared and you're constantly checking for updates. I don't know if you guys know, but there is a hurricane app. I'm going to find the name of it so I can tell you. Um, hurricane tracker. So, um, WSVN hurricane tracker, and you can have that app and it'll send you push notifications whenever there's an update on the storm. Um, so if you guys want to download that, download it so you don't have to constantly be turning on the TV or constantly have to Google hurricane Matthew to find out what's going on with the hurricane. Um, hi Allie, how are you? Um, so I just wanted to go live really quick, wish everybody well, um, to make sure you guys are prepared. Please don't wait till the last minute. Don't be one of those people that, you know, didn't think that you needed anything and then you end up without power for four or five days and you don't have enough water and you don't have enough food and you were not prepared. So that's just very, very important. Make sure you are prepared. Um, Make sure you don't do anything silly. Don't go outside if you see winds are very, you know, crazy. Just want everybody to be safe. I don't want to hear any crazy stories about any of my friends on here. Um, but just that's all I wanted to say. Very short thought of the day today is just about being prepared, um, obviously, for the storm. But we always want to be prepared with things in life. You never know what's going to be going on. So, you know, last night we went and got our wood for, um, we only need one piece of wood for our bathroom door. So we went and got that. My hair is crazy. I did curly hair today because I wasn't sure if it was going to be a rainy, yucky day. So I did a curly hair, don't care kind of day. Um, so, and I had an awesome coach meet up with one of my new coaches. So we're getting her started right. So it's been a great day. It's sunny. I'm actually thinking about putting on my bathing suit and laying outside. I mean, look at this like that calm before the storm like isn't that pool inviting and that lake but look at the sky it's nice it's beautiful out everywhere you look it's pretty <laughs> it's almost like oh the land and that's where that saying comes from the calm before the storm so i just wanted to make sure everyone was safe and everyone was prepared and any of my local peeps if you need any help message me um i'll bring my muscles and i'll come help me move stuff um that we just want everybody to be super safe so I hope everybody has a great time having some couple days off. Hurricane party in the works. Um, hi, Mark. So we're just going to chill here. Hopefully we'll have power so we can just do movie marathons, watch lots of movies, play video games. I can catch up on a lot of work because I'll have Wi-Fi so I can just sit and do a lot of stuff. I'm sure I'll be chatting with a lot of you guys on Facebook during the storm as long as we have power um, and none of the, you know, cell phone towers fall or anything like that. Um, oh, thanks, girl. Yeah, I wear them when I'm working. Usually I do this and take them off before I go live or do a video, but I actually forgot they were on my face. Um, but, yeah, I just want everybody to be safe, be prepared. Does everybody have all their water? Do you have your foods? They say canned foods, but I can't stand canned foods, so hold on one second. Bell, Bell, scratching at the door isn't going to change anything. What's wrong with you? Ryan. Can you take the dogs out for me, please? I'm live right now on Facebook, so I can't take them out at the moment. Look at that. I ask for a favor, and he turns it around and asks me, can't you take them out? Um, Mark, I said the same thing. I was like, I got my wine. I got, huh? I didn't say anything. 
No, no, they all heard you. You guys, he now he's saying he didn't say anything. You all heard him. I asked, can you take the dogs out, please? And he's like, can't you take them out? I so didn't say mm -hmm. anything. I'll play back the video for you. Oh. And I'll let you I'll let you see how you told me to take them out instead of you taking them out. <laughs> right, Mark? So he's not <laughs> yeah, look, Mark, did you hear him? He goes, I didn't say anything, right, Mark? Um So uh yeah, he wasn't feeling good. I think he got like the sore throat that I had. Uh huh, Mark said he heard it. He went outside. I don't think he heard me. I'll tell him when he comes back in. Um, but, uh, yeah, he wasn't feeling that well today. Woke up real stuffy and everything, which is a little bit of what I had last week, but I had my Shaco to save me. So I'm going to double up and have him do some Shaco today. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's all that's going on here in the Gris home. We're just getting prepared, deflating our rafts and putting everything in the big box outside and then sticking it in the garage. And we're getting prepared. Um, so, uh heard that help mom yeah um so uh yeah that's my little one he is he's my goofy one he has a lot of my personality um my daughter has my like cranky side personality and ryan has like my goofy side personality um kayla's more introverted than i am which is funny she takes after alex we always say like are you sure she's not your kid um but uh, yeah, so we're doing what we need to to make sure that we are safe for the storm. We have all our batteries. We have all of our flashlights. Don't only want to go out there and chase lizards. Uh, did you sneeze while you were out there? No. <laughs> the tissue box is right over there on the table. <laughs> and everybody said that they heard you just telling you. It's behind Alex, next to the red heard chair. You what? Heard you say, why don't you take them out? Um, so I just wanted to make sure everybody was going to be safe and you guys are prepared. Please don't wait for the last minute. I am getting a look from that guy over there. I think he's waiting for me to be done so I can go help him outside. So I'm gonna go help him. Hey, Chris, I'm gonna go help him with all of that stuff, bringing everything in, throwing lounge chairs in the pool, whatever we have to do to make sure nothing's gonna fly at our house. But one great thing this year, we don't have to put up shutters. We did our hurricane windows when we purchased the house, so we don't have to worry about putting stuff up. So that's a plus. That saves our arms because mine are still sore from my workout. I don't know who else tried the core force, but like my arms back here are super sore. My back is sore. Like just to do that hurt my arms. I feel like an old lady, but in a good way. At least I know I'm going to get results. So anyways, be safe guys, be prepared. And I will see you tomorrow because if I still have power, I'm going to go live tomorrow during lunchtime and chat with you guys. So I want to say bye to everybody, everybody that heard what you said. Bye. <laughs> bye guys. Have a good day.